I was so mad. I was so mad. I'm going to tell you how mad I was. If my dentist was 10 years old and I was nine or 10, I would have effed him up. Do you hear me? I would have beat the heck out of him when I saw him in school. That's how I felt. I felt like he needed somebody to box him, be his A. I felt like he needed to be arrested. He needed to go to jail. I just felt like whatever he did to me was wrong. It was devastating. I think the most, not just not fixing my teeth, that, that, that's, that's, that is like so wrong on so many levels. Not fixing my teeth was so wrong. But that's not even the worst of it. The worst of it is treating me as if I was not a patient for six mother effing years. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Spirit of Lights. Welcome back to ASMR to Chew, and I'm your girl, Spirit. You can call me whatever is pleasing to you. Mama Spirit, Spirit Girl. Hey, Spirit. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm hungry right now, so my stomach kind of growling. It's a little mad at me, but I'm going to get through this update story time that I know y'all been waiting for and it's not going to be a part one and part two and part three. I'm going to give it to you all right here. So I'm going to start out where I was vlogging and I vlog uh, when I went to the dentist and I had received a root canal and it went left. It went terribly wrong. The dentist destroyed my teeth. I did never expect it to have a missing um, teeth in the front. I was shocked. I was shocked because I'm not going to get into it because I'm, I'm going to really do a story time on that dentist when I get a chance. But right now, I'm just kind of doing an update, you know, how I'm to the point where I am right now. The dentist told me that he can make my smile really pretty. He told me everything I needed. He was the one who brought up like the implants and um, that I needed a root canal and things like that. It was so weird because I started out with him just working on doing an implant and doing that implant, I believe he chipped my teeth and then it just left a little hole. And it kind of like, it was like, it was chipped like a, like a small little tiny circle, like so clean, like almost like a machine did it. I was home and I felt something. So I went in and I told him that I feel like he hit my teeth. They looked at it. He says, oh, it's just a little hole. It's no big deal. You ain't got no cavities or anything. You can get a feeling for that. I said, okay. So I came back in a follow up to the implant done in my teeth because he ended up pulling child he ended up pulling my teeth and he did someone left me a comment and he said spirit he said that it will cost you time and money to try to save your t your tooth over there and and to, he gonna pull it out and put the implant in and that's supposed to be less money yes that's what he told me he said look that cavity in your teeth we just gonna pull that out and it was so crazy because he had a hard time getting that teeth out. Like my teeth did not want to come out. I think it was like a molar. It did not want to come out. And it's crazy, but you know, you know when you get your teeth pulled, a lot of times the dentist will leave it on the tray. My teeth was not there for me to examine, to look at. I, I was in so much pain that I forgot to even ask, can I see my teeth. When I didn't see it there, I was going to ask him, hey, can I see the teeth? But my face was hurt and everything. And then when he came back, he was talking to me. The nurse was talking to me and I end up leaving without seeing my teeth. But I usually take my teeth. If I have to get something pulled, I take it from the dentist and I take it with me. 
And I didn't get to do that this time, but he pulled this teeth out and he's supposed to have put an implant in and he ended up just hitting one teeth and the post gave me a, a filler. He told me he was going to charge me $110. When I came in, he was like, I got patience. I'm busy. I'm not going to be able to just spend one or two hours on you. I already did, did like the teeth cleaning and worked on the other implant and all this other stuff. And I'm like, uh, well, what about my filler? Oh, don't worry. When you come back, we'll take a look at it. So, you know, some time went past. I think about three weeks for my next appointment. And I come in. He says, oh, you're going to need a root canal. And I'm like, a root canal? Yeah, you're going to need a root canal. And child, when he, he showed me, they did a, a invoice and showed me the price. I was just like, ah, one ten to over a thousand dollars. Like literally like eleven, twelve hundred dollars for a root canal and then the filling for him to fill around the root canal was two hundred dollars. It was separate. So it was just like, oh my God. And and I was like, oh some reason because I've been with him for so long, six years, I it didn't even enter my mind not to trust him. He he I believed in my dentist. Like I had no issues with him. And the crazy part is, I oh my God, so much stuff was revealed when I went back up there to see him. I started seeing some stuff that I should have paid attention to and I didn't see before. I should not have, not have been a part of that dentist. I should not have been in that building. And I should not have let that man touch me. Because for one, huh, ooh, ooh. Hold back, spirit. You're going to talk about that another time. Oh, my God. I got some stuff to freaking tell y'all. But that'll be in another story time when I'm specifically telling you about everything me and this man went through and the things I learned. Okay? So, we're going to stick to this update story time. So, after the root canal, I felt uncomfortable. I told him that it felt weird. He's like, oh, it's okay. Go home and just eat soft stuff for about a couple of days. And then you can eat rice and da-da-da-da. And everything will be fine. You can go eat normal and everything. Your temporary feeling, everything going to be fine. And I said, temporary feeling? Temporary feeling? <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, when you come back, I'll put the permanent feeling in. And I told him, I said, I never heard of that before. Why didn't you put the permanent feeling in now? Oh, I don't understand. He said, hey, don't worry. I know what I'm doing. When you come back, I'm going to dig out the, the temporary feeling and put in the permanent feeling for you. So I'm like, okay, well, he's the dentist, you know. Not knowing that I'm in the enemy's hands. You know what I mean? Like, this was his chance to be a hero. A, a hero for some reason to destroy I'm a person that he didn't like or a person or people that he didn't like. That's how I felt in the end. I just felt like he was some vigilante and he was out to destroy your girl's spirit. That's that's how I felt. Nonetheless, I go home for the two weeks. I come back in to get the permanent feeling. And he says, okay, you got your permanent feelings. Everything's done. I'm all in the mirror and I'm looking. I'm like, mm, smiling. I'm all happy, y'all. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so freaking happy. Am I? I'm done with the Rukada. I paid for it. It's going to take me a minute to, to pay care credit back, but I got my teeth fixed. I was just so freaking happy. And then boom, 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 boom. I went to go brush my teeth. I think it was like a week and a half later. I brush my teeth and I hear something go, and I'm like, mm -mm, mm -mm. that's how I don't like them. Like, what is that? I was like, oh my God, what is that? So now I froze. And I'm like, I go to Nadine. I said, Nadine, I was brushing my teeth and I heard something. I heard something. She was like, what? I was like, I think I heard like a crack or something. And she was like, what? I was like, I, I think it's in the feeling where he put it in. I heard something. It's not my teeth. It's back there. So she's looking at it. I'm looking at it. We're in the camera. We're looking at it. And right. So unfortunately, when this happened, it was on a Sunday. So, of course, the dentist is closed. So, Nadine looked up the dentist, and we decided that we're going to be there as soon as he opened, because who I am, I eat, I chew, I talk, 
And I wouldn't be able to do anything with like you know when something's not right in your mouth, you 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 fidgeted, you you anxious, you you like you feeling like not feeling right. So it was like, ah, we're gonna be there first thing in the morning. So it said that his dentist opened up at eight o'clock. We went there at eight o'clock, okay. And when we got there, oh my god, yeah, I was so relieved getting out the truck. I was just like. For some reason, I just thought he, I, just how I thought it was going to go. As soon as such and such, da, 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 I'm going to put you in a chair. I'm going to look at it and I'm going to see what we can do. Simple. That's how I thought it was going to go. It didn't go that way. When I got in here and I saw him, I was like a little kid. I felt like, you know, because he's an older man, I kind of felt like maybe I could be like his daughter. Like, I would, that's the way I went to him. Like, not singing like I want to be his daughter or anything, but I was just like, Hey, um, I felt something in the back of my teeth and it cracked and I feel like, uh, it's loose and I'm scared. Can you please see what's going on? He's like, well, I don't know what to tell you. And I said, uh, I just want you to look at it. It ain't my fault. You broke your teeth. And I'm looking like, ah, uh, I didn't say I broke my teeth. I said that there was a crack inside. I didn't say I broke my teeth. Well, well that happens. People teeth break all the time. And I was like, and Nadine was like, she just had a root canal. You did the root canal. And it's not even two weeks. And something cracked in her mouth. Can you look at it? Well, you know, people get root canal all the time. So he said, well, you got a root canal. You, you were supposed to get a crown. And I'm like, oh. and it's so crazy because me and Nadine had already had a conversation. So that was confirmation from what Nadine told me. And then he said, so Nadine asked him, when you was doing the root canal, why didn't you tell her that she needed to get a crown? Why did you do a root canal and not mention a crown? And he's like, I'm closed. I'm closed. I'm not open yet. And they didn't say, well, it says 8 o'clock on the door. Well, I got patients coming. I got mommies coming. I'm closed. I'm closed. We went from talking to him about helping me to he's closed and he can't deal with us. So I was like, okay, well, I'm, I'm just going to sit here until, you know, it's, it's going to be 9 o'clock soon. I'll sit here and wait. And, and so you can see me. I don't know. I mean, I mean, you can stand there all you want to. I don't know what to tell you because I'm busy. I got things to do. He went around the circle. Basically, what he was saying to me was that he was not going to look at my teeth or anything like that. And we end up getting into it with him. He got into it with us. He raised his voice. He said something. So I'm not going to go into that. I'm going to tell y'all about that when I'm specifically talking about him. So I'm going to move on from that. Once I realized that he was not going to take accountability or responsibility or be my dentist that he had been for six years, I broke down. I cried so bad. I went to the car. I could not handle it anymore. I was in, devastated. I was shocked. And all I could think about was, oh my God, what am I going to do? I can't walk around like this. I can't do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. And then Nadine came out. She was upset. She was trying so hard not to cry. She was so upset. And I'll tell y'all again, everything that took place with the argument and everything that was said in another story time. Nadine came to the car. She looked up and she said, okay, I'm going to try to find a woman dentist. The reason why we went and wanted to find a woman dentist is because we needed someone who understands how important it is when you're paying and wanting your smile and your teeth to be healthy. <sighs> oh my God. I got so much to tell you about that freaking crazy psycho dentist. I really do. I got so much to freaking tell you, but we searched and searched and searched. We found about all together, maybe about Three women dentists that came up. Everybody else were men dentists. So the woman dentist that we found was in Missouri City. And when we called them, Nadine told them the situation. And they said, oh, 
okay, well, come on in. They they actually gave us an appointment because by the time by the time we left the dentist office, it was so much rah rah and so much bull ish going on. We didn't leave the first dentist or my dentist office until almost eleven. I think it was eleven or six, and then they told us, "Can we be down there by one o'clock?" Which was they was I think they like an hour hour and a half away from us, Missouri City. So we traveled uh, to them, and the whole time we traveled to them, I felt hopeful. I felt that everything was going to be okay. I even started feeling optimistic that I'll deal with my dentist another time, but somebody's going to help me. I was I was still crying, y'all. When I got to the dentist, my face was swollen, my eyes were swollen. I I was up there signing my name in with tears, just big giant tears falling from my eyes. I was hurt. I was so mad. I was so mad. I'm going to tell you how mad I was. If my dentist was 10 years old and I was 9 or 10, I would have effed him up. Do you hear me? I would have beat the heck out of him when I saw him in school. That's how I felt. I felt like he needed somebody to box him, be his A. I felt like he needed to be arrested. He needed to go to jail. I just felt like whatever he did to me was wrong. It was devastating. I think the most, not just not fixing my teeth, that, that, that's, that's, that is like so wrong on so many levels. Not fixing my teeth was so wrong, but that's not even the worst of it. The worst of it is treating me as if I was not a patient for six mother effing years. Six years, you got my money. I help so I help pay some of your bills. You, I help your income grow. I stay dedicated. I stay loyal to in your freaking. I spent thousand staying with you and choosing you as my freaking dentist and you treat me like I'm not your patient anymore when you at up my teeth my teeth because when oh I ain't gonna oh I'm gonna tell you I have so much to tell y'all but anyway let's move on let's move on let's move on so I'm at the registration table and then I'm signing my name and everything and I'm just falling tears and then me and Nadine, we're sitting, and we're while we're sitting, child, it was so beautiful in this dentist's office, okay? Now, in this dentist's office, it felt very comfy. It had, uh, you know, cultural people in there. It, it wasn't just one race, so it was just... And it was just, a, it was a bunch of women in there, and it was other men in there, too, that were working. And it just seemed like a very high... Uh, trafficking place not of uh i would say i didn't see like a whole lot of patients but a lot of people that worked their child that was like the place to go put on your heels put on your jeans do your hair up put on your makeup girl that's how it was it was like girl, girls 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 so many of women dressed up and diva it was very diva they looked very good and then i seen you know, a couple of professional men, and I was just like, wow, okay, everybody here is like jazzed up, and you walk in, nice leather-like seats, they got the the chandelier going on, girl, they got the wine out, I'm telling you, you got the wine on the counter, they want you to take a shot, because they want you to be very relaxed before you realize what the freak they was about to do to you. The wine out on the counter, child. And I was just looking like I needed a shot, but I didn't go near it because I wasn't even thinking about drinking wine, i be honest. I just I just know it's like the wine glasses, the wine. I saw one of the guys, he was a patient like me, he got up, he fixed him some wine. Another lady fixed her some wine and it was just relaxed, child. Sitting there and I was just sitting there just waiting for them to call me. Finally, someone came out, they introduced themselves, they said that I was going to be next, they glad that I came to them and everything, and then me and Nadine was holding each other's hand, Nadine prayed, and she was like, God, please fix this in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, please fix this. We were just sitting here, and Nadine was so sad, I'm hurt, and I'm crying, she stays her strongest, like she literally holds herself together and you know when you got a person who can hold itself together through the, the triumph through the sad times through another person hurt and sorrow and they staying strong for you they staying strong for you you know they are a strong person and nadine is very sensitive nadine 
can't cry easy. Nadine will tell you how you feel. She's not going to let you like just move on. Think you can move on with her without y'all fixing the situation. But when it comes to me, Nadine stands. Okay. She stands tall. She hold on and she say, mom, it's going to be all right. She don't say, stop crying, mom. Wipe your face. She don't do none of that. She say, mom, we got this. It's going to be all right. My daughter, she tried to be strong for me. And I realized that that's a lot of hurt and pain too for her. Because later on, when she finally cried, it's heartbreaking when they didn't cry. Like if she cried, you could feel your soul cry. Okay. So I don't like the fact that she has to be so strong in times that I am so like feeling weak and defeated. I felt very, very distraught. I felt defeated. Eat it. And I was devastated that this crazy cycle did that to me. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to mess up this makeup. Oh my God, girl. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, let me wipe my tears. Okay. Uh, I, was, I said I wasn't going to cry. Oh my God. You stop crying too. Don't cry because we, we don't need to cry, y'all. This is a cute little story time. I'm telling you, it's going to get there. It's going to get there. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let me wipe the tears, girl. That glow is still going. Mm, my tears all down here. Okay. Could not bring myself to be strong anymore. And, and 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 people were sitting, waiting for the dentist. And and it was just, oh my God. I was so in there. I was, it was so, like, I didn't feel embarrassed. I just could not stop bawling. I was so shocked. I was like, oh my God. Did that mother effort just destroy my freaking smile did he really just do that to me that's how i was finally the lady comes in there she asked me you know what happened and everything and i told her that i just had a root canal and during that process my teeth had cracked in something and my teeth was not out my mouth yeah yeah it was still in there so i was feeling like the feeling in it they're gonna be fixed everything like that everything gonna be good right <sighs> she said, okay, come on back. Come on back and put you in the chair. She put me in a chair and she had an assistant who I found out later on is the financial manager. She had another assistant who I found out later on was her hood security. Okay. So she had other people working in this and it was just like a whole bunch of girls practicing dentists and stuff that like it was crowded. They had the music pumping y'all. They were talking, they were laughing. And then when I sat in the chair, I was in there for a while, me and Aideen, and I was a little nervous because I was saying, dang, this place looked like, I don't know, clubbish. You know what I mean? Like Everybody looking all dressed up. I wasn't dressed up. You know what I'm saying? They didn't, we weren't dressed up. We were just trying to, you know, see the dentist in an emergency situation. But I was like, wow. I was like, I told Nadine, I said, ooh, so many beautiful black women and Hispanic women in one place. This is nice. It's just like they, they all look, you know, very diva, very diva up, you know. So I'm just like, wow. Oh, my God. Beautiful, you know. Child, she had another um, assistant who was actually like a, who do some of the work. She came in here, she was older and she was the only one that said, let me get you some tissue. And she wiped my tears and then she handed me the tissue and she said, I'm sorry for what happened to you, but our dentist is great. She's going to take care of you. You in the right place. And I was just like, Oh my God. Thank you. God. Thank you. God. Thank you. God. In front of us, we had a panel which is like a, a TV, a computer or whatever. You could watch Netflix. You could uh, watch Hulu. Whatever you wanted to watch, they had it on the screen. And if you didn't want to watch anything, you got to see everybody who's involved with this dentist. And we purposely looked for um, an independent dentist. Now, on the phone, they told us that they were independent. I didn't want to deal with corporate because... We all know that Spirit had been dealing with corporate, and I found out that dealing with people in corporate, child, they don't care how they treat their people, and then you got to deal with corporate, and corporate got to deal with them, and then corporate decides not to call you back or let you know what's going to be going on. I just said, you know, I want, I want to deal with independent. That way, something's not right. I can talk to the person who owned the dentist there. I don't have to go through no bullish because it's corporate. So they said they was independent. So I was all 
like shock, like how beautiful the place was. It was overly dressed up, very dressed up, golden, white, and black. It was beautiful. Okay. And then we go to the back, the rooms are fancy. So I'm sitting in and I'm looking up on the screen and you see the different dentists and they tell you their personality, what they like to do, if they marry, if they single, if they have kids, went on their last vacation. I was like, wow. So I'm like, wow. So then when she came up, the, the nurse that was helping me, she was so caring. She was like an auntie like type of person. So I'm going to say the auntie assistant. The auntie assistant was like, oh, that's going to be your dentist. You're going to love her. She's so fun. She's so nice. And you in good hands. Don't worry. So when she started talking about the dentist and making me feel like I'm in the right place and that, you know, everything was going to be okay, I started feeling oh, okay, I'm going to be okay, I'm going to be okay. The tears didn't stop coming because it was just, I think my tears were falling more so because my dentist not only not wanted to help me with destroying my teeth, but he hurt my feelings. He said some stuff, and I saw some stuff that um, just, uh, I'm t- I can't, I can't, I'm not even going to talk about it right now. Uh, I got, I got, oof, we got another story time coming, and I'm going to break everything down, y'all. Like, I haven't even told y'all to half of the evilness that I saw and that I dealt with. I started to just feel calm, even though the tears was falling. Finally, the dentist came in. And when she came in, she had like a group. It was like a group of them. It wasn't like just, you know, her and the assistant. It was like a group of people around. And she said, this was their team. She said, this is my team. And we're going to all work to make sure you have a beautiful smile. Everything will be okay. So I told her what I was there for was to try to save my teeth, figure out what's going on, what the crack is, if they could fix the crack. I don't know why I thought that a dentist, that they do cosmetic, they make thousands of dollars, going to take the time to do a couple of hundred dollars work. No, they're not going to fix no freaking crack. You got to find a a mom and pop dentist, an old-fashioned dentist who's, who's really in it for the love of caring for people's teeth because in these cosmetic places when you go in there you only need something simple and they're going to tell you you need three five twenty five thousand dollars worth of work done they're not going to just do just a little bit that you need it done that's it they're not going to do that i don't know what the what was i thinking what was i thinking oh my god and then she said to me okay sit back and we're going to go ahead and take x-rays so they took x-rays and they took a lot of x-rays and they had like the gun x-rays. They had they had all this little fancy stuff. And I'm like stuff I ain't never seen before. My dentist didn't have that kind of fancy stuff. I mean, he finally got a scan machine where he scanned your head. Finally, you know, that happened this year. I was very happy for him. Kind of dinosaur that, you know, they say. But anyway, um, so I was like, ooh, wow, fancy. They did all this stuff. They didn't hurt my mouth. You know, sometimes you take x-rays and it hurt. You got to bite down. I didn't have to do all of that. So they was able to get all the x-rays. She came back and she told me that she had bad news. She told me that what the dentist did, all of the filling has been cracked and it's coming from the teeth. And the teeth is so loose uh, all around um, inside the gum. Um, The dentist did not stabilize it, and the teeth is coming out. It cannot be saved. And I was just like, and she touched me on the arm, and she said, you in the right place. We're going to take care of you. Everything going to be all right. She said, let me and my team make a plan for you so that we can figure out how to make, you know, bring you back that beautiful smile. I said, okay. So her and her team got together. They talked about things and everything like that. Now, the thing is, because your teeth coming out, what we can do for you is do a flipper and you're going to need a roof canal here on the next teeth. She told me I'm going to need a root canal, y'all. She said on the teeth next to the one that the dentist destroyed, she said, you're going to need a root canal there. I'm thinking like, huh? Are you sure? 
She said, yeah, we're going to have to do a root canal there and you're going to need a crown. And I'm like, okay. So I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm feeling like totally destroyed. The implant right here is going to have to come out because uh, it's in the wrong place. Uh, it's going to destroy your other teeth on this side. And I'm just like, it was just getting worse by the second, y'all. It was getting so worse. And then she was like, but we have a plan that we put together. What we could do is break it down in monthly payments or if you can get financial help, um, we can get started on it. So I'm like, uh, hmm. She said, well, I tell you what, let me go ahead and do a molar for your mouth and and get the size of the flipper. She said, because if your teeth come out before your appointment to get started on the work, you call us in an emergency, come in, and we'll put the flipper in. That's what she told me. So I'm feeling all cozy and good about things. And she said, so how you feel now? I said, thank you. I feel like you're really going to you know, take good care of me. She said, yeah, I am. So I'm sitting there, and they're getting the, the molar stuff ready. So she started calling um, a couple of girls, and she told one girl, girl, turn on the music, play happy day. Girl, come on in here, do this, do that. And and she started, uh, the music started playing. She's like, yeah, and they all dance. And she's like, that's what I'm talking about. She twirling, Josh, she start mm, breaking it down. And I've still got tears coming my eyes. Nadine said, we didn't even crack a smile. I was like, what in the world's going on? There was no calm music. She played like music and she just started snapping her fingers and she started working on the molar. Her other girl, they dancing, they laughing. Then they hit each other like, ha, 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 ha. They laughing, they talking. And I'm just looking like, and in my mind, I was like, okay, is all of this going on because maybe she's trying to change the vibe? You know, she's trying to, like, make me feel positive. Child, I was still sitting there, like, destroyed. I was scared to death because she just told me that my teeth is going to come out. It's been destroyed, and I'm going to need... I'm going to need a filler, I'm going to need a root canal, and I'm going to need a couple of crowns. And I'm just like, uh, and that's just, just a little bit. That don't even have nothing to do with this side, that side, the other stuff that I need done. I still haven't seen the price of everything. Right now, I'm just getting a molar from my mouth. And next thing you know, she she come over to me. She just, you know, bringing over the, the, the tools and stuff she's going to need. And she just, you know, and then she... She really twirling and, and they laughing. I mean, I was like... And me, me, usually me and they think like, okay, girl, get it, girl. We'll laugh it off and stuff like that. But this time we were just, we were just looking around like, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? Because right now in this moment that I'm destroyed, I need professionalism. I need everybody to be professional and 100 with me. That's what I need. I said, well, I guess it's just uh, a really happy place and they dance and they sing and they laugh and they talk loud and I mean loud. Like it was like a party up in here. Like, girl, like I was sitting here like, okay, I guess this is what they do. I guess when I come down here, going to work on my teeth, they're going to be partying while they're working on my teeth. That's what I was in my mind. I was just like, oh my God. Now, I'm used to going to the dentist and hearing like relaxing, soft music so you can calm down. But she just started, girl, like, oh my God, she was, oh my God, she was twirling, popping her finger, the other girl dancing, they dancing, the people coming back and forth, walking with their heels. <laughs> I have to tell you what happened. And I'm looking like, oh my God, oh my God. So then after they did the molar, she said, during this process, your teeth may come out. If it come out of your mouth right now, you're going to be okay. So I'm thinking like, okay, this thing got me. This, 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 this dentist got me. I'm okay. I'm okay. Everything's okay. So Nadine like, oh, 
everything okay, mom, everything okay, mom. So she's like, okay, so now letting the mula drive, we'll be back and everything. They leave out and you still hear the music, they dancing, talking, running back and forth. So then finally they came out, they took the, the stuff out of my mouth and everything. And they told me that the me and Nadine needed to go to another room so that we could talk about pricing. Child, in my mind, I don't know why I was thinking like 1200 for everything, everything like 1200 that's all it's going to be. Child, she handed me a paperwork that said $5,000, $500, and some change. And I said, whoa. Now, mind you, me and Nadine told her what I've been through with my dentist. She the one told me, call Care Credit, report him, because he destroyed your teeth. She the one told me that. So... I'm thinking like she was going to have empathy and compassion for me. She just, all I want is my front teeth fixed. I don't want nothing else right now. I'll work on all that stuff later. I just want what need to be done, right? But no, 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 no. You need this. You need that. You need this. You need that. Only on like uh, three teeth that I was going to be paying. She said a crown, two crowns, a root canal, and something else. And I was just like, oh my God, that is a lot of money. I just told her that I just spent $6,000 with my dentist and he did me wrong. Sitting near me, Nadine, uh, sitting near the financial person come in and it's, and she tells us the one supposed to be like the receptionist, she's an assistant and she's a financial person. So she comes in and she says, at this big billboard, they put everything on this big giant thing, right? Instead of a folder and paper. And she starts pointing out everything that's going to be done and everything. And she starts saying that we could pay like $800 every two weeks when we come in. So I'm like, okay, well, how long is it going to take before uh, the filler? She says, well, your first appointment is going to be in March. And y'all know this was like what like i can't wait to march to, to get this done you know like i need help now so she was like well that's the appointment that you have so if you could leave a deposit now when you come back in uh, two weeks you could pay another 800 so that would have been like six sixteen hundred dollars and i was just like okay so she was like so you basically gonna have about five appointments five or six and you're gonna pay eight hundred dollars every time you come in and i'm thinking like I said, well, how, how many times do I need to come in before she finish everything? Everything can't just be done like right then and there, you know, or can I just, you know, get the flipper? Well, this is going to be the plan that we set up for you. And this is going to be the process. But when we're done, you're going to be very, very happy. So I'm just like, okay, all right, let me just calm down. The dentists know what they're talking about. I'm just going to have to come out of my pocket with another $5,500, almost $6,000 again. And I just spent $6,000 in December. Now I'm sitting up here, literally, I think this happened February 11th. And I'm like, what? My appointment, my first appointment was going to be in March. Like, are you freaking serious? Like, it took in my heart, like, okay. What I'm going through is going to be a slow process. So let me just go through the process. Let me humble myself. Everything going to be okay. So me and Nadine decided that we would probably use whatever credit I have on care credit. We'll use our credit card to pay for the service because it has to be done. And it wasn't in our budget because it's been a rough three years. Oof, I don't even have to explain. I know you know. I know you know. We let her know that uh, we'll go ahead and pay the first down payment. And then we come back for the appointment. Uh, we'll pay the other payment and we'll just go through the process. So then I asked her, I said, well, what about my teeth if it come out? I don't want to walk. I can't. I, I work with my face. I I, I talk to people. I, I just, I can't, I just, I don't want to. I mean, I'm not ashamed of it, but I don't want to because I shouldn't have to because I did not do that to my teeth. Like, she said, oh, don't worry. If your teeth come out, call, make an emergency appointment, and we'll put it right in. I'm like, wow, I'm in good hands. Yes, 
And so I got, me and Nathan left, we got in the truck, we was happy, we went and got something to eat, and we was like, oh, yes, everything gonna be okay, everything gonna be good now, yeah, we were so happy. So me and Nathan got, when we started talking about them dancing and everything, we fell out laughing. Nathan was like, mom, what was that? I said, girl, they were partying. I don't know what that was, but I was a little bit uncomfortable. And she was like, um, it didn't bother me, it just was like kind of weird that we're in there sad and crying and now they're twerking and dancing and running up to each other like it was just a little weird mom i was like yeah girl i don't know what was going on but um i was just gonna trust in god that, like everything gonna be okay that, you know whatever right i said she seemed like she's an honest good dentist she's independent everything gonna be okay child i think three freaking days later Three days later, I was watching TV. I was sitting up there watching a TV show, distracted and everything. Nadine was laying on the couch and I was laying on the bed and we was really relaxing. And I happened to just fall asleep a little bit, just a little bit. And I felt something. I was scared to even like swallow or move, y'all. My teeth was just like there. And when it came out, I was just like, Oh, uh, I start praying. I start praying for myself. I couldn't take it. Yeah, I couldn't take it. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Nadine was like, oh my God, mom, okay, it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay. I was like, oh no, 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 no. I was so like destroyed. You know, as I laid in my bed and I cried through the night, I felt like God told me to stand up for myself and let my spirit of likes know what this dentist did to me so that whoever is going through your situation or might go through your situation will not have to face what you face. Maybe you could save them from something, even if it's as small as just telling them that if they get a root canal, they need a crown. They have a small hole in their teeth and the dentist not willing to work on it right now, call another dentist. Like my, I felt God was saying, my father God was saying, you need to speak up. So that's why I did the video showing y'all that my teeth was missing and, and I was destroyed. That's why I did that video. So, cause I felt God told me to go ahead and speak about it. Like the same type of morning, cause it was like late morning, my teeth came out. So the daylight came, I did the video. Then I called the dentist. I'm, 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 I'm like, I'm a little sad. I'm just still like, I'm emotional, very emotional. Nobody likes to lose their teeth. Like you don't even realize how how big your teeth is until it's missing. Like I had like a whole freaking U-Haul box right here, sitting right there on my teeth, like like missing. Like it was a whole storage box missing right there in front of my dentist. I was just looking in the mirror, I was just like, ah, no, like this cannot be happening to spirit. But it was happening. I caused the dentist. Yes, everything will be all right. I said, hello? Hi, my name is Juanita Payton, and I want to make an emergency appointment. Oh, okay, okay, could you hold on? Okay, so I'm holding on, listen to the music. Now they got professional music on the phone, okay, come back. Yes, this is where you're singing. I was singing such and such, because it's like two main ones there. And uh, she told me that when my teeth come out, come back, and they're going to put the flipper in. Oh, okay, all right, so I'm going to make you an appointment on that, 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 which was like a week away. And I was like, no, 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 no. Um, I need an appointment right now. It's an emergency appointment. Okay. She told me that they do the flippers same day. Um, she's not in. I said, okay, is she in tomorrow? She has other patients. She's full. Okay. Is she in Friday? Now, she's only in two days a week and she's full all the way until the, like the end of February. So she, when she was kind of giving me my appointment, I think she was trying to give me my appointment like uh, February 20 something. And I was just like, uh, what? I was like, my first appointment to start working on my teeth is in March. Can you please try to find me something now? Um, I'm going to call you back. Okay. Wait and wait and wait. They don't call me back. I called them. I said, hey, I was waiting on someone to call me back to let me know if they can get me an early appointment. She said, okay, Ms. Payton, we couldn't get you an early appointment, but we got your appointment on this day, which I said, okay, it's going to be next week, then uh, like a whole week later on a Thursday. I'm going to take it. I'm not going to complain. We, I'm just going to believe that everything going to be all right. So she says, Ms. Payton, we got to redo your finance 
um, agreement. And I'm like, why? She was like, uh, well, the fifth liver is going to be between fifteen, eighteen hundred dollars and that, and then we have to do this and we have to do that. And I'm like, uh, no, 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 no. She told me that she was going to do this work and that the flipper was coming with it. Um, I don't know, Miss Peyton, we have to do the refinancing over. So when she said that, I was like, uh, okay, well, I'm not going to be able to make your appointment until we do it over. We send it to the email and then you sign it. Wait on them to send me the email, right? I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, I'm like, let me talk to Nadine. Nadine said, what? That what are they crazy? I said, yeah, they said that it's going to cost me more money. They changing it from the 5,500 to something else. And she didn't make my appointment till a whole week later. And Nadine was like, okay, no, we need a dentist now. So Nadine got on the phone and she started calling emergency dentist, trying to find a woman. And we did go to like about, oh child, we went to like three dentists uh, trying to get um, x-rays in their opinion and she was the fourth dentist when I called her she told me she was the one who said that um, I can have an appointment the next day the very next day to actually look at my mouth and see if they can get me a flipper done my next dentist said it would be three days the next dentist said it would be two days and then the other dentist said um, that the exam probably would be like on a Monday, which would be four days later. So we decided that when we, we say those dentists, we'll just go get different opinions to make sure that whatever the dentist said that was going to work for me is being honest. Oh my God, y'all. Oh my God. I made my appointment the next day. I think it was around one, two o'clock. I was so happy to get there. She looked in my mouth. She saw what was going on and she was like, it's going to have to be extracted. The, uh, your tooth came out, but the rest going to have to be extracted and shaved down here and shaved right there. And I was like, okay. She said, so this is what I can do for you. I can give you a temporary teeth with the bridge. Do the best I can to make it look exactly like your teeth that you had. Because I took my teeth with me, y'all. I had my teeth with me. <laughs> and I had it in a baggie and I showed it to her so she could see that my teeth are big and wide and everything like that. And she took a, she put the, the, the spongy stuff in my mouth and took a molar of my mouth. And she told me, she said, okay, come back in a week and we're going to have the temporary teeth for your mouth. And then we could talk about a permanent plan once we get you settled where you feel comfortable about your smile. Now, I wasn't happy about the week because I was hoping that she did it right then and there. She said they used to do it right then and there, but they don't. They send it to a lab. Okay, so... Whew, that's another story time. I'll tell y'all about how that went. <sighs> oh my God. But in the end, I end up getting a temporary teeth before I see that dentist to get my temporary teeth. I had to wait a week, right? Since the dentist gave me a price, he told me it would be $800. I decided that I no longer, I, I no wanted to go with Miss Twirly. Okay, I no longer wanted to deal with her because I needed an emergency appointment. You could not provide it. You made my appointment so far away, and then you lied to me about the flipper, telling me that as soon as the teeth come out, making a, a call down there, and a, they, they would put it in my mouth. You made me feel like I was secure enough to put down a down payment because y'all definitely was going to make sure that I was okay. That was not the case. I want my deposit back. I don't want her working on my mouth because the dentist that I went to that I chose out of four other dentists to work on my mouth told me that no, you don't need a root canal. And no, I don't see a cavity because she told me I need a root canal here. She see a cavity here. The dentist said, no, 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 no. I don't see that. When I went to the other dentists, they didn't see that I needed to have work done on my mouth right now. So one, she was either lying to me or not lying to me, but trying to robbed me of my money she didn't care about my feelings she didn't care that I just got robbed by my dentist I got mistreated by my dentist like literally she just did not care she was just trying to take me for whatever money she could possibly take from me and was not trying to give me exactly what I needed so I wanted to cancel so I called down there and I told them I said okay 
because you could not help me on the timely frame that I thought you that you would, I called and got an appointment with another dentist and another dentist is helping me. I want to put in a cancellation. Um, for everything? I said, yes, I don't want to do the root canal, the crowns, um, the flipper. I don't want to do any of that. Um, I want to cancel. Um, mm, okay, I'm going to have to have the financial person call you back. Okay, thank you. How long will that be? Um, I'm not sure, but it'll be sometime today. Okay, that's good. Financial person calls me back about three hours later. Hi, Miss Peyton. Listen, they said you want to cancel. Is it is it anything else that we can do? Can we talk about the plan and go like a different route or something like that? I said, no, I don't want the plan. I don't want the service. I don't want the appointment. I want to cancel. This is February and my first appointment is all the way in May and my emergency appointment is at the end of February. I just want to cancel. So she was like, Oh, okay. I'll make sure your money get back on care credit. Thank you, Miss Peyton, for choosing us. Okay. Thank you, girl. She hangs up. Now, mind you, when you get a refund, it's back on care credit the next day. The Sometime the same day, but the very next day it shows up. So, like, two days had passed. So, it was Thursday, Friday. We checked the care credit. The money wasn't there. Child, we go to call them. Our phone number going to a phone that ring and nobody never pick up. No voicemail. It's like on silent or something, but it rung, rung, rung. We call over and over and over again. Child. Finally, Nadine called from a different number, which was my phone number. She called from my number and she told them, she said, hello, um, I'm trying to call just to confirm uh, Juanita's Peyton refund for the care credit, and we checked it, and it was not there. Um, okay, hold on. So the financial person came up there. Okay, Miss Peyton, we're working on it. And I said, well, you told me that you was putting it on there. I would have to talk to the dentist, and then you should have your refund back on care credit. I said, oh, okay, okay. So I told Nadine when we got off the phone, I said, you know what? Monday, we're getting up early. And we're going to be there as soon as they open. Child, we was on that road Monday. Like, I am not the one. Do not tell me the first time that I am going to get a refund and I ain't got nothing to worry about. It's going to be in my bank, back on my car or back on my, my, my credit. Don't tell me that. And then I don't get it. When hand reach, I'm going to reach. Okay. So I got dressed. Me and Aiden got down there. Right before they opened, everybody went in. We waited a little while and then we went inside. And went to the receptionist and I said, hey, hi, my name is Juanita Payton. Matter of fact, Nadine stayed in the car. I said, hi, my name is Juanita Payton. I'm just here to get a receipt that you put my funds, my $727, because at the time I didn't have $800. So she took the $727 and told me I had to pay $800 every time I come in. Okay. I said, I want my $727 back on my care credit, please. So I took a seat and I was waiting on the dentist and about 20 minutes went past. I contacted Nathan and I said, hey, I don't know what's going on. Something's going on. I don't think I'm going to get my refund. I don't know what's going on. So Nathan said, okay, I'm coming inside. So we comes inside. Nathan comes inside. We're sitting together. And then there was a guy before Nadine came in and he was at the counter and he said, look, I don't told we told a financial girl because when I first got there, the financial person who was so sweet to me in the beginning, when I first got there to, to let them know I was there for my refund, she up there at her desk, she gonna look up like this and kind of roll her eyes down. She didn't even speak to me or nothing, y'all. She ain't had two words for me because she knew she did me wrong. She knew she did me wrong. So this guy was telling her, I don't talk to you over and over and over again. I want my medical records, I want every x ray, I want everything you charged me for. I want every single thing and I need it now. I'm not going to keep on asking. And she's like, okay. She's trying to stay calm. She's like, okay, I'm going to get it done. He said, what's your name? She said, oh, my name is such and such. He said, okay, I'm going to remember your name because you don't want to talk to me before and I still haven't got it. So then he left, right? Then another lady called the dentist and she was complaining about her 
not having all the work done in a timely fashion that they said it was going to be done. It's been over three months. She done already paid and they still haven't done, got half of the stuff done. And the lady told her on the phone, well, I know it's been three months and you feel like hardly no work's been done, but every time you come in, a little bit more progress is being made. And she was just, the lady was just upset. She was like, how long am I going to have to wait before y'all finish? Then there was another lady sitting in here singing that she was waiting on to talk to the dentist because she want to be fun. And I'm sitting there like, oh, oh my God, I can't. Oh my God, this is going to be stressful. I, I knew right then and there, I probably wasn't going to get no refund. So finally, the manager come out. And like a group of them come out together, walking together. Okay, Miss Peyton, glad to see you again. Come on back here. So I'm walking with the group. The group go one way, and then the lady put me in this room, me and Nadine in the room. And we sitting, and we wait, and we there for like 20 minutes. Now I'm thinking they probably had like a recording in the room or something to listen to us and stuff like that. Because it was just weird. We were just sitting there for 20 minutes waiting right so she comes in here and she hood the, the sister is hood she come in here and she said okay so what's the problem i said okay i put a down payment on i don't want the down payment i want to cancel because i don't want the service plus i couldn't get the flipper the refinance or she wanted to change my receipt to add more money to it she was like Yes, because you you want to get the flipper and, and all kind of stuff that da, 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 we got to do. You got to pay for that. So I said, but she was about to give me the flipper when I was here if my teeth had came out. But my teeth didn't come out. And she was going to put it in my mouth. And she was, it was going to be all included in my finances. And she's like, oh, well, the deal is off once you walk out the door. I said, what deal? Oh, yeah, I know they said they would give it to you, but now that you done left and you done put a deposit down, anything else extra you need from us, you have to pay for it. I said, can I speak to the manager? I take care of everything that's a problem here. I do that. So I'm thinking she ain't the manager because it ain't no freaking way she telling me no crap like that. And then... Uh, she let us know that this is what we're going to pay and, you know, we don't need to cancel. We can come up with a new plan. I said, no, I don't, I want to cancel. So she was like, I will have to contact corporate. What? I thought you was independent. Oh, we are independent, but we also corporate too. So you're independent and corporate. And now that I don't want the service, you have to contact corporate. I said, okay, well, how long that's going to be? It's probably going to be about 45 days or a little bit longer. I have to wait till they get back in contact with me. For me to get a refund. And you might not get all your refund. We're going to charge you this and charge that. That's what I already paid for the service fee. I already paid for the, the office visit and all that. I'm just telling you that all I could do is ask corporate and, and they may say no. You might not get no refund. So I'm like, so you're just going to keep my money. She's like, well, I told you, you can call me back in about 45 days and I'll let you know what they said. It's like, what do you mean what they said? Are you going to request my refund? She said, well, I'm going to ask if you could get a refund. And I'm like, what? And I said, no, I, I want you to put my money back on care credit now. She's like, no, Miss Payton, I'm sorry, we can't do that. And I said, okay, can you give me a piece of paper? Give me something that shows that I cancel. And she was like, no, we can't do that. And I was like, well, why not? Why you can't give me something to show that I canceled? All we could do is just tell you to call back in 45 days. The team was like, take out whatever you're going to take out of the money, but give us the rest of our money right now. We just want to cancel. We want to be done with this. She was like, "You, if you cancel, if you cancel, you're not getting none of your money back. So I backed up a little bit because a little bit too close. So you're telling me that I can't cancel. If I cancel, I'm not getting my money back. You want to cancel? Do you want to cancel? Do you want to cancel? Because if you cancel, you're not getting no refund. I'm like, so I got quiet. And I was like, oh, okay. She the, she the, she the, she the hood security. Okay. So Nathan was like, well, look, we're not trying to give you no hard time. We just want to cancel and we just want to be done because we found a, a dentist that could help us. And she says, well, in 45 days, you call me back and I'll let you know if corporate said that we can request a cancel. 
And Nadine was like, okay, okay, all right, well. And she said, and, and, and still, you may not get even half your money back, but I'll see what I can do. And Nadine like, okay. And she's like, I know your mother is sad. And I just, I, girl, I didn't even look back. I started walking out of the, the door. I was just so through. I didn't, matter of fact, I couldn't even talk to her no more. When she asked me a question, I didn't even answer. I just started walking out the door, and I left. And Nadine was still in there talking to her. We get to the car, and I said, you know what? F her. Freak them. I ain't got time for that. They think they're cute. They all in there giggling, talking while we, I'm walking out the door. Child, I'm in my car. Nadine gets in the car. And she's like, Mom, you know what? Don't pull off yet. Hello, Care Credit. Can I help you? We, I complain on my dentist about what happened to me. And I complain on her to Care Credit to try to get my money back. And all in total, um, basically, I had like 6000 uh I think it's five or seven hundred dollars of complaints that I complained about to care credit. Nadine said they think they're cute, they think they're funny right now, but we're just gonna go about it the right way and we're not gonna deal with them no more. So we drive off, we go home, and um I send all my information to care um uh, care credit and I said, Well, I'm just wait and see. They never called me to tell me that they're gonna give me my refund. They never apologized, they just never contact us. And then one day, I think about a good two weeks later, I'm looking on my phone and I see an email saying Care Credit contact me. So I'm like, well, Care Credit said that's, you know, a refund was issued. So I go back and I go to my Care Credit and I'm like, oh my God, y'all, not only did I not just get some of my money back, I got all my money back from Miss. Yeah, yeah. We got a fool up in here. We're about to rob her blonde. We're about to F up the rest of her teeth. And we're about to get paid. We're about to pay the rent. Yes, y'all gonna about to get y'all bonuses, y'all employee checks. Yeah, we're about to, yeah, turn that music up. Turn that music up. We got a fool sitting up in here. Y'all, she thought she was so freaking cute. I look on the app and I got the whole $727 back. And I holler, I cracked up laughing so freaking hard. I was so freaking happy because I tell you what, when me and Nadine left and we drove off, we said, we're going to go get something to eat. We was on our way to Arby's and we said, Jesus, fix it. Fix it. And that was it. We ain't, we ain't dealing with that no more. And I felt bad that I had to deal with that because they were women and they were cultural. And I felt like, you know, I just felt like I was in good hands. And she turned out to be a liar, a thief, and a crook. Okay. Try to keep my money. Try to mess up the rest of my teeth lying to me. And I got my money back. And then about two days later, I saw that I got another uh, refund. I got like fifteen hundred dollars so the when i when i went to the dentist the first time i got fifteen hundred dollars for one implant i got fifteen hundred dollars back for the second implant that's three thousand and then i got my money back from that dentist at three thousand seven hundred and something dollars actually i think it was like uh yeah about three thousand seven hundred dollars that's all i got back so i did not get my money back for the root canal i'm disappointed in that i'm still fighting for that and even though i still gotta pay on my care credit and I didn't get my money back. I got half my money back. My my bill don't say 6700 no more. It actually said like 3000 period. By the time I make a payment on it, it'll be like 2900 Before you know it, the bill will be down. But I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to tell you what. I'm not finished. I'm definitely reporting. I got all my paperwork ready for the Better Business Bureau the Dentist Association, the Texas Dentist Association, the America Dentist Association, and I'm going to find me a lawyer if my lawyer don't find me first. But I am, am not done with that dentist. And you will get a story time and another update in the future. So right now, Spirit is sitting up here cute and pretty, smiling. I got my temporary teeth in there. There she go. And I got, you know... Temporary for my implants for right now, but you know, in the future, one day I'm gonna have such a beautiful, loving smile. But I'm gonna try my best to fight for myself 
because I don't appreciate what the dentist did to me. And I'm glad I'm not just no more. I'm able to talk about it, able to move on. And some stuff is just effed up. So I'm in that stage where I see that I'm like, that, that, that was effed up. I'm in that stage right now. And, but I'm not in that devastating state. I try hard not to think about how terrible it was for me because I felt awful. You know, I felt violated. First, my first husband break my jar and all my teeth at the bottom were in my face through here, through here, through here. I even still got the scar here. I know one day the spirit light was like, well, not spirit. Well, they're spirit like now. Okay. But they were, there was like a hater in the beginning. You know who you are. And they was like, what's wrong with your lip? Why you always got a bump on your lip? Uh, ew, you got a bump on your lip. And I said, no, I don't have a bump. And that's when I decided to do the story time and tell y'all what happened, why I have this, I have like a little like an over layer of meat right here on my lip. Mm, turned out to be very soft and very luscious and very nice to eat with. Make mouth sounds. Mm, and to kiss. Because spirit can kiss honey. Okay. I can kiss real good. So I told y'all all about that my first husband broke my face and my teeth were all in my mouth and I was wired down and everything and my teeth were looking beautiful again and I was paying a lot of money and working on my teeth and then when my second husband got caught cheating and I wanted him out the house he punched me in my face and my teeth uh, hit me in my face with my teeth and I went through that the wires came out and everything and then I started losing you know, teeth here and there, trying to save my teeth, which is messed up. So then now I'm at the dentist and he just taking upon himself to destroy my teeth. I mean, he's no better than my ex-husband, two of them, both people that hit me in my face, I was married to. You know, the men that I were not married to did not put their hands on me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And, you know, I, I've been through some things. I, I faced some terrible things. I've been violated. I've been sexually violated as a kid, as a, a woman, adult. I've been through some things. I've been um, abused. I've, I've been, you know, hurt. And I've been heartbroken. But... I still felt violated when the dentist did what he did to me. And I'm sitting up in there thinking that he's going to make everything okay. And he treat me like I, he never saw me before ever. Like, what are you doing in my dentist's office? Like, I don't even know you. That's how it was. It just, it was just disgusting and devastating. But I got half, like more than half of my money back. So now I'm working on the next step. So I am not finish but i just wanted to tell y'all about who that that dentist she thought she was so cute hey yes thought she was so freaking cute and i got my money back and i want to tell y'all before i go before i go do not sign anything do not put a down payment on nothing until you go home and have a reflection and think about what you want done take a couple of days to think about and go get two or three different opinions because if i did not get other opinions she would have destroyed me and i would have had to pay for it i would have been I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know how bad that would have been. But yes, so dealing with my dentist, and he did this to my mouth, I was able to um, take new steps and do new different things. And I was able to find me a good dentist. Yes. And I'm back. I'm eating, talking, and all that with y'all, you know. And when and I'm, I'm it's my teeth is a work in progress. It's probably going to be a work in progress for the rest of my life, and that is okay. That is okay. That is okay, you know. And I'm gonna do what I can to have teeth in my mouth. And then one day, you know, I, I'll be really, really old, and I, and I'll have nothing but gums, and my husband gonna have nothing but gums, and we still gonna love each other. We just gonna gum each other down. That's it, you know. But for right now, Spirit gonna try to have some teeth in her mouth. <laughs> so yes, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed story time. I know y'all been waiting for a long time. Y'all deserve it, and you had it coming. <laughs> Team Spirit, yes, we did that. We got our money back. Woo that be. See y'all later. Bye. Have a wonderful day, afternoon, and night. I love y'all.
Bye. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I know you're sick of people. Subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe, okay? You want to keep up with spirit, all right? Some of us you have to subscribe to and you might not see us again. You know what I mean? So... You don't want to have to be looking for your girl and you're like, girl, I found this, this beautiful woman and now I can't find her anymore. Okay. So yeah. So subscribe and hit the notification bell. Show me some love and I'll do another story for y'all. As I dash, I got like four, six pages of nothing but story times. So y'all show some love. Spirit going to be back with some more story time for you. Bye. Bye babies. I love y'all. Have a wonderful April. Enjoy the rest of the year, 2022. And whenever you need me, I'll be here. Bye.